let's get to inflation for a moment. Um, how troubled are you by um, the persistence of this inflation, clearly longer and louder than the Biden administration had expected? Uh, do you think it is with us uh, for the foreseeable future? And what are the implications of it? It's been longer and louder. Uh, it, it's, I, I will highlight, it's not just government officials who have m- made the mistake of thinking inflation was going to go away or be smaller. The market absolutely made this the same mistake. Just look at interest rates. They set interest rates below what the inflation rate ended up being. So the real interest rate was negative. If you took out, if you borrowed money, if you got a mortgage uh, at, at the rates before, you've been doing great uh, for this year. I have thought that the answer to the question of what we need to do hinges critically on this second question of, did the inflation come from supply or did it come from demand? If it came from excess stimulus, excess monetary stimulus, excess fiscal stimulus, which there are a lot of economists think it did, then the correct answer is the Fed needs to tighten monetary policy and raise the interest rate and try to cool off demand. And that's kind of the traditional Fed thing to do. They really only have one tool, which is the screwdriver. We can tighten right. it, we can loosen it. And they, they they look at the interest rate sensitive parts of the economy and, and that's what they do. The problem is if the inflation came from supply, if you think war in Ukraine or the labor supply shocks from COVID or a series of things hitting the supply chain are where the inflation came from, well, there's another lesson from the 1970s, which is supply shock inflation doesn't go away from just tightening demand. And that what the Fed would do in that case, they could raise the unemployment rate, but they're just going to generate a stagflation. So that's the religious schism, as I call it, within the economics community over what, where did the inflation come from? And that is why I think the Fed has been slow to act, is they've been sitting and waiting, hoping to figure out, well, was it supply and is it going to go away on its own? Or is it demand and we're going to have to crank this thing down? I think and it the, sounds like you're saying it is mostly supply. I thought from the beginning it was mostly supply. I will say that in the last two months, the fact that the non-energy, non-food parts of inflation, the so-called core inflation, which the Fed looks at as the pointer for what's the true state of affairs, the fact that that has not been coming down has led me to revise my view of how much of this was supply. And I think if we get a couple, even two more months, like the ones we just saw, I think they're gonna be consulting the ghost of Paul Volcker and the Fed is really gonna- And then rates are going way up. Raise rates a lot. So I have to ask you the one question, Larry Summers says we have to, you know, let go a whole bunch of people if you wanna fix this inflation story. Uh, I take it you do not actually agree with that. I don't. It kind of goes to my thing of you, you got to answer how much of this inflation do you think came from demand or supply? In Larry's mind, I think is the view that this inflation is overwhelmingly from too much demand. And so in that world, he says, you know, we got to raise the unemployment rate to 10 percent for one year or seven and a half percent for three years. Or he, he, he gave you a whole menu uh, schedule of, of what you could choose. Uh, fundamentally, that's a story of demand. And I think at least 50% of the inflation is not from demand. So w- what could easily happen if you were going to follow that prescription is you could raise the unemployment rate to 7.5%. Millions of people lose their job. And then the inflation's not going away because it's not coming from excess demand. In which case, you you probably want to be a little circumspect. I mean, do the what it means for the unemployment rate to go to seven and a half percent is a lot of pain for millions of people. 